So we're going to look at exponential equations and solving for an exponential equation. And the key issue becomes, how do we solve, how do we undo this exponent? Right? How do we formally undo it? We, we can kind of figure this out, and that's okay. When we solve equations, sometimes we just kind of guess and we kind of know what the answer is. So in this case here, we can probably guess well, knowing our exponent, our exponent properties, uh, that 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 27, and we recognize that as a perfect cube. And so x is equal to 27. Okay, so that's kind of, I'll just put that off to the side, and we know that that's true. Okay, so x is equal to, so x is equal to 3. Okay, so that's our answer. And we kind of, we got this by just knowing our, our math, our power facts. So how can we do this a little bit more formally to get that same answer? Well, we can do this. And we kind of alluded to this in the last lesson. I can express 27 and as a base 3 number. So I can make those bases the same. So I can make this 3 to the power of 3. And we can make the argument. If the bases are equivalent and those numbers are equivalent, these powers must also be equivalent. Okay, so what I'm going to do is use a logical argument then. I'm not going to like cancel anything out here. I'm not going to do any cancelling algebra. I'm just going to make this logical argument that if those numbers are the same, then the exponents must be the same. And I get this answer of x equals 3, which, which I knew was true. So we can kind of undo the exponent that way. We can do it kind of less formally, knowing our math facts. We could also do it a little bit more formally by showing that the common basic can exist and we can make the exponents equal to each other. So here we're going to solve this equation and this equation so we want to undo all these things so I need to undo a times and a power so I'm going to undo the times first okay, because doing uh, undoing things we would normally do it backwards bed mass. Okay, So I'm going to do the, undo the times before the power. Okay, so I'm going to divide by 2, and then I can kind of, get, if I know my math facts, I know that that should be, that x should be 3, because that's a perfect cube. But again, I can show that a little bit more formally, and write that as 5 to the power 3. I can say that the bases are the same, the numbers are the same, so we can make the logical argument that from here, we can just say that x, the exponents, must equal to each other. Okay. Well, same thing here. That I, I need to undo this power somehow. And to undo this power, well, we need, if we can recognize that 256 really is a power of 2. So I can rewrite 256 as 2 to the power. Uh, oh, what is that? 2 to the power. I think it's to the power 11, but, uh, or 9, I forget, to the power, okay, so it's to the power 8, actually, to the power 8, okay, so 256 is a power 8 number, uh, so then we can, since the bases are the same, the numbers are the same, again, we'll make the logical argument, Okay, so again, we're not doing kind of any algebra of cancelling or anything like that. We're just going to make the logical argument that the exponents must also be the same. And now we can solve this equation. So we get x is equal to 7 divided by 2. Okay, and I'm just going to double check that because uh, just to make sure. So I'm going to plug it in because that's how we can always check it, our check equations. We can check by plugging it back in. So I'm going to go 2 to the power bracket 2 times 7 divided by 2 plus 1 bracket equals, yeah, it's 256. Okay, so it looks like I've done it correctly. Okay, well, what about this one here? Hmm, I've got a base 3 exponent here. I've got a base 3 exponent here. Those, that seems to be a good match. I've got this extra times 27, but if I divide both sides by 27, I still have an extra times or divide involved there. However, if we can see that 27 is in fact a base 3 number and I can express everything with base 3s, then I can maybe use some exponent rules. So here I've got base 3. 
On the right-hand side of the equation, I can then re rewrite this with 1 base 3. And that would meet, meet, match the 1 base 3 on this side. So this is going to be 2x plus 3. And again, if the exponents, if the bases match and those are equivalent numbers, okay, then we can say that the exponents also must be equivalent. Okay, so then I solving this, I get x equals negative uh, 1. Okay, so we can then go about solving these and we can kind of undo the exponent by matching the bases and then making this logical argument that the, if the numbers match, the exponents must also match.